talk about an image that you're going to see on screen very briefly. Um, I took this photograph today, Catalan Bay in Gibraltar. It's probably one of my favourite places to go photograph in the entire of Gibraltar. Location-wise, it's absolutely prime. However, I found it quite daunting to go photograph in this specific location, especially during the morning when there's absolutely nobody about. It's dead peaceful, but it's quite nerve-wracking because you really only have one chance to get the right image. Of course, the saying goes that landscape photographers should wake up at 5, 6, 7 a.m to catch the morning light and photograph just before everyone's woken up, when the light is at its best and when you know you can take a great shot. However, the problem with photographing at those times is that it's difficult. And it's difficult because you really only have a window of opportunity and that window is very small. Technically, once the window's closed, that's it, the shot's finished. You see, that's the reason why I love landscape photography so much. It's in the nature of landscape photography to be unforgiving. It's our responsibility to try and do our best to overcome those kind of situations, to deliver an image that is worth the experience, that is worth the journey. The photograph that I took today is kind of a reminder to me of what landscape photography is all about. It's not one of my best shots, in fact, far from it, but there are elements of that image that I do like quite a lot. You see, the point for me of landscape photography isn't so much about the successes that I get, it's actually more about the failures. It's the only way that we really learn as photographers in general. In order to develop, in order to advance, we have to have failure. This image to me is a representation of that. It's not, like I said, something that is a failure, but it's not one of my greatest successes. There are parts of the image that I do like, but there are also big parts that I wish I could change. Even though I can't, because again, like I said, the nature of landscape photography, once it's gone, it's gone. But that's the good thing about it. You can always look back, you can always strive, and you can always self-critique your work. I think the most important element of this photograph is definitely the blue sky. Photographing during the early hours of the morning gives you the platform to capture a blue hue that you won't get throughout any other time of the day. It's really quite spectacular. It's actually one of my favorite parts about landscape photography. Photographing in the morning and being able to get a colour that you won't be able to achieve at any other point naturally. The blue hues that I encounter during the early hours of the morning happen just before the sun starts to break apart the clouds. It's a really, really small amount of time to be able to take a photograph, and if your window is missed, then unfortunately, you won't get the photograph. Today's experience of landscape photography, and I guess what this video is ultimately about, is actually finding the middle ground. You remember previously I mentioned that this photograph isn't one of my best, but it is still an image that I'm proud of nonetheless. I think today's experience has taught me out of all of the places that I enjoy photographing, this has to be one of my favorites. And th there are elements of an image that I can enjoy, even though it's obviously not you know, the best photograph possible from that day, but it also doesn't have to be the best photograph from that day. Not every single session is going to be a winner, and that's something that I think I had to accept. If there's anything that I want you to take away from this, is to be okay with images that are okay. Not necessarily fantastic images, but images that aren't garbage either. Because the images that are inevitably just good, such as the one that you've seen on screen previously, those are the images that you can really, really critique and say, okay, well, what's not that good about it? But also, what is good about it? Become familiar with the landscape, with the location that you like the most. And at the end of the day, I think that's where I started with landscape photography. I became familiar with the locations that were personal to me. Really hope you've enjoyed this video, and I really hope that you look forward to my next one. Peace.